Yes, we are. We are back to the 598, sir. And we made a double entry. We entered right here on the candle. And once again, that same resistance area where we sold the first time, you're going to have to sell it again because it's not going through there. It, it, it refuses to right now. The time is 6.46 a.m. The date, 320 of uh, 2012, March Madness is in play with Apple at this diamond area. And it can't seem to get above that 598 handle there. Every time it gets there, see, you got to see them 598s get printed up. And they have a wall of resistance right there, but it's holding the half bar. Uh, Dow is down 107 points in the first 15 minutes. It was actually down more than that. NASDAQ, 100, 20 handle reversal. 20 handle reversal. Here we are. Here we are. We bought and we sold it. Now, everybody, I'm going to investigate this low that they say, 570 print. 595, Mr. Gibson. And we sold into that resistance level twice. And that $600 put, see, Mr. Plain, that thing got away. I wasn't looking at it because I wasn't. And keeping the stop was always the right thing to do. But in that engagement with that reversal is beautiful. Now, the market was long overdue for a bull side pullback, everybody. It's called, once again, we've been covering it for the last month, month of March. And parts of February at different levels of markets. Different levels get overbought and they have to pull back, MMT. And we have that witnessing for you here that bulls have pullbacks so that the money, the, the, the $6 trillion that is sitting around out there, well, there's probably $10 trillion, you know, still out there. There's a lot of money on the sideline that's going to be looking for a home in equities in calendar 2012. Um, the only thing that's going to ever hurt that will be the high gasoline, of course. But that's neither here nor there. It's what's happening right now in bull exhaustion reversals. We really want to focus on it and keep our awareness in the bull cycles that they do have reversals. I will be investigating the five, uh, the uh, that print there, and I'm going to see how it uh, pops. Um, there are some wonderful trades. I'm just going to go through a few of them. Um, on this opening bell, you have that Netflix trade. You can see that big reversal. It's right there. Look at that beautiful short right up there at that 116 area. We've been nailing that thing like clockwork up here. And you can see, look at those green bars straight up. But look at this. Look at today. Look at what they did yesterday. See, so you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teenies. And it got up. It looks like about eight. And then you're reversing in the very same direction. Right here to this time of support. Nice short sell on Netflix. Now, with this Apple deal, I reloaded my MMT platform. And this is the kind of action that I'm seeing on my MMT platform. And we bought it down at the bottom and we sold right into here. When it dipped down again, we bought it and we sold it right back into resistance level. And that's how it's done, MMT. So that's the Apple story. Look at those diamond reversals. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, and it went down a half a delta. So it was minus $7.25 ratio with a bounce right here, and that's where they came in. However, there was a lot of chaos with showing that 570 print, and that was a flash print. And I have it live right here on the video. I'm going to stop this particular video, and then I'm going to have it archived and put on the site. I'm going to investigate how that flash got there. So we're going to go to work, and we're going to find out about this right here and see how that flash got in here at 570 print in this level one right here. 
and the actual volume right now you can see your money flow is negative 222 million you only have five highs and 138 lows and what happens with big bull runs they have to have a series of lower lows just as they had the series of higher highs all the way up to the top and then they have to have reversal lows within the state and you return to a normalized bull trend and entries and exits within the price channel ranges and just understanding that I've made it clear to people that the overbought list that we have which is this list over here we have a very nice list of overbought stocks I'm just looking in this section right here in the retail sector I kept those over here because I wanted to know where this was on the opening bell and you can see the broad base what we call minor selling okay as far as the bull run goes on this opening bell nonetheless I'm going to conclude the tape we're going to start buying up the calls let's go over here and start working with the 595 call and the range is three dollars and thirty cents and the low is 840 it's going to be time to start buying this side of the market the put side of the market the six hundred dollar put we're right up here at the high at 1235 and selling into that move see we're getting dumping those we're dumping those here's that low on Apple right here and we're getting going to get long now and the thing about it is let's take a look in here where that low our platform here tells us that the low is 591.48 in our platform after resetting it and reopening it up I believe that that 570 has to be an erroneous print neither here nor there 740 is the low end of the 595 call so we're holding that price level on this price level there was a quick dollar bounce when you hit that lower end of that bottom that leveraged up our bids are 880 there that's the lower end of the market and they got to the $10 uh, handle and then when Apple bounced these bounce on their first pass so once again let's get down there and get net long Apple off of the bottom so go to your Apple chart that CMG well go to your Apple chart again I have to watch this one too darn it um, Go to your Apple chart you got a bottom and that's a teeny expansion bottom right here so you're gonna have to buy the pullback put a bid out there at 592.60 if it drops down and hits you right here at this teeny line all right this is where we put in this bottom that bottom is put in at seven o'clock here so let's see the time um, let's see what the timestamp is it's exactly at 10 o'clock Eastern time right on top of the half an hour right at that half an hour bar this is part of this is a three bar on here but it was a half an hour print of the opening bell that you hit that and then you uh, bounced one teeny two teeny three teenies in the uh, SMF script so we're gonna buy this dip in here and we're going to try to accumulate this bottom and see that the sellers have moved out remember when we got the entries and we sold into resistance here in this very same video and got out each time we we finally got down here to that 591.48 handle and if you take a look at the previous day's close that's a ten dollar freaking markdown the close was well not quite well look 601 down to the lows right here 591.48 is what we have recorded in the plat in our platform so there was the high recording of 599.73 short right up here look at that baby torpedo and then you torpedo up but you make all these lower lows that means that the overbought name is going to start putting in a bottom base here and we're going to get net long so that's all we can do it's still early I'm going to move my bids up on the 590 call to ten dollars and fifty cents for the moment as I watch how this 
The close was $16.55, 3,900 block of contracts traded in this uh, first hour right here with this bottom in play right now. So I do have a bottom. I've got the teeny expansion to the bottom. I have the diamond reversal. It's just that we're going to see how we hold this bottom on the reversal. I'll conclude the first 30-minute tape. 